you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be talking about hair extensions now I just recently purchased some new hair extensions so I am going to be showing them to you and showing you how I am going to tone them to make them blend with my hair so I had previously purchased a couple different kinds of extensions. Right now, I have a set of Bellamy clip-in extensions. Um, I believe they're 22 inches long, so they are long. My, I have my hair in a ponytail, but this is my hair, so it's not very long. Um, and 22 is like long, <laughs> like below my bust almost to my belly button long, okay? So I actually, um, my sister-in-law has a set of halo style extensions. Um, I don't remember what brand hers were, but she got them through her hairstylist and you have to order them specifically that brand through um, like a retailer. So, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to wait. Um, so I did some internet research and I stumbled upon a set on Amazon that is actually way cheaper and way cheaper than buying another set of Bellamy. Um, and it's called Sunny Hair. And I am going to put the link in the description box so if you guys are interested, you can check them out. So this is the little box they came in, okay? So this is what it looks like. It's called Sunny Hair. And I purchased these. This is the Fish Wire extension. Um, and it is 16 inches long and it's 80 grams and it's in the style or the color Nordic. Okay, so 80 grams is not a lot of hair. Um, I think my Bellamy ones that I have are one, 120 grams, so quite a bit more than 80. However, my hair has gotten a lot thinner since I got those Bellamy um, extensions and I have fine hair anyway but now it's like thinner so I um, was okay with buying something that um, has less grams because it'll probably blend better with my hair so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like um, so it, it has the clear uh, band that's the fish wire um, and then it has two clips right here. And then it has that nice thick uh, weave there where you can see where they added in the extra grams. Um, and then the color, this is what it is. So it has a low light throughout it. But as you go further down, the low light kind of fades. So it's kind of like a balayage low light kind of where it's more brown at the top and then it fades to more blonde, okay? I did um, slightly curl it the other day because I wanted to see what it looked like. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. So it's not a lot of hair as you can see, but that's kind of perfect for what I need. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you just real quick what it looks like against the color of my hair currently. Um, so we have a comparison here. We have two different colors of hair. <laughs> Completely different. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're working with. Here, let me just throw her on here. Yeah. So, that's what we're working with. But it gives me like a nice blend with my hair once it's the right color. Okay, so to tone this bad boy, to be honest, I probably could just tone it with some purple shampoo and it would get pretty close to what my hair color is currently. 
but I want to have something that's a little bit longer lasting so that way I'm not getting a different color every time I wash my hair. Um, this hair. So to tone it today, I am going to be using some Arctic Fox. Um, and this is semi-permanent hair color. This is what I've used. I've used this to tone my natural hair. I've used this to tone my Bellamy extensions. And we're going to use it to tone these because these are 100% real hair. Um, and so we can tone them, we can dye them, we can heat style them, and we're not going to have any issues. Okay? So I am going to use the Arctic Fox Sterling. I'm going to use the Arctic Fox Periwinkle. And then I'm going to use the Arctic Fox Diluter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the Sterling in my little mixing bucket here. And I don't think we're gonna need too much product because it's not a lot of hair. So that's kind of nice. All right, and then I'm just gonna use a little bit of the periwinkle just because I do use a purple shampoo. So this is gonna give it that undertone. Oh, this color is beautiful. It's so pretty. <laughs> just a little bit of that. And then we're gonna use some diluter so that way it's more of a tone instead of a coloring it silver. I have another bottle of diluter, but this one, I think it's just, there we go, a little plugged up. Okay, so let's see. I always try to mix the right amount at first so that way I don't have to guess the quantities for another batch. And we're definitely going to need more than this. So I'm just going to keep mixing until I think I get to the right amount. Okay, I have a good amount of product mixed up here. I think it'll be enough. So. <laughs> I hope it'll be enough. There wasn't quite as much um, sterling left as I thought I had. I haven't used it in a, in a little while, so I thought I had a little bit more, but I think we'll be able to make it work. Um, so what I am going to do, this is what I find the easiest. I put saran wrap down, um, and then I can just lay the hair out. I run a comb through it, and then I just paint it on like I'm kind of painting a picture or a canvas or something and I find that that is the easiest and I feel like it gets a pretty even coat all over the hair. So I am going to do that and we'll see how it's looking. So at this step, I like to go back through and make sure I just do a little section at a time and I spread the hair like this to make sure that it's evenly coated because look at right here, I completely messed a spot. So that's what I do at this point and I just make sure that there's product all throughout and it, I find it easiest at this point to just use your fingers. Um, if you're using crazy colors, I recommend wearing gloves, but this color is pretty neutral and I'll just wash my hands at the end. Also, I had to mix more color in case you're <laughs> wondering. <laughs> So 
She looks really good. I went ahead and wrapped her up so that my cat won't get into it. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat something and then be back to rinse her out. She's looking pretty good. I think we're gonna go ahead and rinse her out. Don't mind Leo, he loves the tub. Um, and he also thinks that this hair piece is his new girlfriend because he loves extensions. <laughs> And I'm gonna utilize this tub to my advantage. And the fact that there is a strain on my hair. And we're gonna put it around the faucet like that. <laughs> and we're gonna wash. Okay, it looks really good already. Like, I don't even think I need to use any purple shampoo. That looks so good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some, and I rinse that out with cool water. Okay, I'm gonna use Pureology Hydrate Shampoo. And we're gonna take this all the way through. I decided I didn't want to use that string because once it got wet, it got heavy. So I didn't want to put that, put that heavy weight on it right away. Okay, and that water is running nice and clear now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wring this out. Get as much product out as I can before I put some conditioner on it. I mean, ugh, it looks so good. I know, like not, <laughs> it's like straggly, but the color is great. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the hydrate conditioner. And Leo is like intently watching. This is like his tub, not mine, so. Okay, and I'm gonna condition all of it. Okay, and I'm gonna let that conditioner sit in for a couple minutes and then I'll rinse it out. So now I'm just gonna let it towel dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to use my normal styling products on it because it is real hair, but we also wanna treat it like our hair and we want to use the same products on it because we're styling it with our hair. Okay, so she's towel dried for a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have it nice and laid out like that. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of Pureology 21 spray. This is the Color Fanatic. Put some of that on there. A little bit of Redken Quick Blowout. I plan to let it air dry, but just in case, um, I have to blow dry it a little bit. Um, and this is also just a heat protectant as well. So extra protection. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of, this is gonna be blinding, Kenra Platinum, this is their hair oil. A little bit of that with a little bit of Olaplex number six. with a little bit of Amica's Supernova. So it looks just like this. Rub that in my hands, mix it up. I'm just gonna run it through here. Okay, 
And then I'm going to lay this back out. Oh. And I'm going to run a wide tooth comb through it. Just so it dries a little nicer. I'm going to start towards the bottom half. I pulled out a little bit there. That's normal. And now you can really kind of see the color a little bit better. I know it's wet, so it's going to look a little bit darker. But now it's looking a little more like real hair. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and let that air dry. Um, and I'll probably flip it halfway through so the underside can dry a little bit better as well. It's the next day and they look so good, you guys. Last night I was so excited. <laughs> I put them in and curled a couple of pieces just to see how well it would blend with my hair. And it will blend pretty nicely. Um, I did a really good job on the color for toning. So here's what they look like. They're going to look so good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray all of my hair with the Oya Style Oya Shield. And then I'm also going to spray this hair. And then we're going to brush everything through. And the way for putting these in, okay, I'm going to part my hair where I would, where I want it parted. Okay. And then this is gonna be a little bit different for each person, I think, because everyone's head size and shape is a little bit different. Um, so this is gonna really depend on you. So I'm just going to do a test run here to see about where I should put it. So, okay, about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do like a little circle thing here. And this is definitely going to be something that's going to take some practice for me. Um, but I'm going to do our best this time. We're going to comb this part back so that the wire sits nicely. And it's not really a wire. It's like a clear stretchy string. It's not really a wire. So, okay. And then I'm just gonna kind of make it the same in the back there. All right. And I think for my hair, it's going to be easiest for me to style my real hair with um, the halo because I think it'll blend better that way. Um, some of you may find that it's easier to style, I think at least for curling. I think you wanna curl all together, but maybe for initial, like if you're straightening, you can um, do it separately. But what I'm gonna do, since it has a little bit of a wave to it, I'm going to just straighten the top section with my straightener because I'm only going to curl the bottom part. So I just have my chi straightener. So I'm just going to straighten that top part really quickly. Like just like five inches down or so. I'm not even going to worry about the underside. Well, maybe I'll straighten this middle section because that's kind of where it curled up the most. Okay. 
Okay. So that looks better. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to place this. <laughs> and I think it's easiest to keep your clips closed until you have the wire on. And then open the clips up. But I may take that back. <laughs> we'll see. My wire is placed. Um, <laughs> oh no, it keeps rolling back. Okay. Ah. I'll show you what I did in the back though. It, like, well, now it may have fixed itself, but it bubbled up a little bit. So I could have gone even a little bit lower in the back there because you can see my parts up here and the hair is like an inch or so down from there. So now I'm going to open my clips. And I'm just going to grab a little section of hair. It's really hard to show this, I know, I'm sorry. And just clip it into it. Okay. Open the other one. Grab a little section of hair. Maybe if I go the underside, that way easier. Okay. All right, well, I don't think it's going anywhere. So, okay. All right, now, let me fix this a little bit right here. Okay. Now, you can see it blends with my, like once I get my hair re-dyed, oh, it's going to blend so well because this is going to be lightened a little bit more, but it just is going to just blend so nicely. Okay, so I'm going to let this down now. Okay, and then I don't know the best way to do this here. I think just comb it. Maybe we should have gotten a fine tooth comb for this section. Because then I could pull those pieces out a little bit better. So I might I might do that at the end. But for now, it's good enough. Okay. So now we have to style it. So I'm going to do... How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to have to go vertically. So we're going to do sections vertically, okay? So we'll start in the back here. We're just going to straighten a little and then we're going to curl with the straightener. I'm going to focus more on the lower. And then I'll do the upper, like the top. One thing I did not do at all with this hair was cut it. But I debated doing that. I don't know why that didn't curl well. Here, hang on. Um, I debated doing that, but I think I'll just wait till I go for a hair appointment and have her do it. <laughs> and it'll be done well. Okay, I think I'm going to save these till the end <laughs> to do. And split the back here.
Okay, so here's what I think my issue is going to be. See how there's like a gap like that? I gotta get this closer together so there's not that gap. Because right now it's like a top and bottom. Need to get rid of that gap so it's more a seamless transition. And that's because my, I clipped it or I parted it too high. I need to part it a little bit lower. To the front here. And I'm just putting pieces from the front and back of the wire together. Okay, and then I'm going to take a brush and brush this out and blend it together. Okay, I definitely need to work on repositioning it because it's not fully matched up. But like, here's what it looks like. I'm going to comb the bottom here there curl is a little crazy and once I have some layers in it it won't be so like heavily concentrated right there because they'll be like the layers will probably start around here so it'll be blended out better <laughs> I mean I need to work on styling it for sure but like it looks good. I dig it. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like. I repositioned it a little bit, but let me try to show you the back. I think once my hair is not so greasy because I'm on my last day before my wash day, uh, when my hair is not so greasy, it'll blend a little bit better. Um, but it looks pretty good. I think repositioned it looks a little bit better, so. Yeah. What do you guys think? Um, that's all I have for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to keep experimenting with this and let you guys know um, how I'm liking it in upcoming videos. But first impression, I think it's good. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.